Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. When we purchased our RV, it came equipped with a backup camera and monitor. Eventually, the system stopped working, and after some troubleshooting, the problem was in the wiring routed through the ceiling. I really like having the camera system on the RV, so I started looking for an alternative solution. What I found was a commercial camera system at Camera Source. This camera system is designed to handle excessive vibration, and it comes with a commercial grade sharp CCD camera with superb night vision and a heavy duty seven inch digital monitor. The camera can be mounted anywhere. My plan is to mount it where the original camera was located. You can also get 65 feet of cable to make routing the cable as easy as possible, and you have the option to upgrade to a Sony CCD camera for the ultimate in clarity and color. Let's start the installation right now. The first step is to determine where the monitor and camera will be located. My plan is to mount both where the originals were located. The kit does include mounts for both the camera and the monitor. Next you route the cable. I'm going to run the cable from the camera mounting location down and under the RV and then back up to the monitor location. You need to be careful not to locate the cable close to any hot or moving parts and to securely tie it to prevent excessive movement. I need to remove the interior trim alongside the window to route the cable to the original monitor location. If you drill any holes, make sure there is no wiring or other obstacles on the opposite side and drill the hole large enough for the cable to pass through. Use split grommets to protect the cable from any sharp edges. With the cable routed and secured, we can make our connections. The cable connectors are weather tight so they can be exposed to the elements if necessary. First, I connected the cable to the camera, making sure it was secure. You can adjust the camera angle later. You will need access to a 12 volt or 24 volt power source, a ground, and the reverse wiring if you plan to use it as a backup camera. Fortunately, I can use the existing wiring. With the power turned off, wire the red power wire to an accessory power wire source. It's recommended to wire the power wire to a source that is only on with the ignition or a reverse activated power source if using it strictly as a backup camera. After making those connections and securing any loose wiring, you connect the camera and the monitor to the in and out connectors on the provided filter and fuse box. The last step is to mount the monitor as close to the original monitor location as possible. You can use the included mounts to locate the monitor where you like. The final step is to test the system and make final adjustments with the camera angle. I mentioned earlier you have the option to upgrade to a Sony CCD camera that offers excellent clarity. Notice the sharp CCD display on the left and the Sony CCD display on the right. The hardwired camera system we just installed provides the most stable image and the best image quality, but if you prefer, you can go with a digital wireless camera system like this commercial grade system. It features an exclusive digital CCD wireless camera with a Sony 700 TVL image sensor for superb day and night vision and excellent clarity displayed on a 7 inch digital wireless flat panel monitor. Digital wireless technology means virtually no interference. The system operates on a digital frequency that is paired and unique to each camera, so you will not be susceptible to interference from duplicate systems or other digital devices in the area. Now I have a crisp, clear color display of what's going on behind me with the CCD camera and the 7-inch digital monitor. The installation is pretty straightforward, and this commercial camera system designed for use in RVs is very affordable. Regardless of the type system you prefer, Camera Source has a model for you. For more information on this and other camera systems, visit www.camera-source.com. Happy camping!